welcome to the vlog of me going to Indiana, Illinois, and a small part of Iowa. It's mostly on the border of Iowa and Chicago. I mean, I mean Illinois. But I'm going to those states to pick up some fans, and this is my fan room right now. Just I'm just giving you the intro of this video. And right now, I, I have already picked up all the fans, and you all see me pick up the fans in past time. So, here we go. Welcome to my vlog of me picking up the Foundation pedestal and other fans. Right now, I'm one hour in the trip, and I'm starting the vlog on and around Saugatuck, Michigan, which is, is about an hour away from Grand Rapids, which is where I live. And I'm starting from here. There was a big snowstorm in Grand Rapids last night, but over here, the road is almost dry. So, that's pretty good. We're now passing Indiana. So we're now in Indiana. So we're now almost into Illinois. Here is... A thing but over there if you can see it it's over here there's the welcome to a noise sign right there and we're now in a noise in the Chicago area which is also the tri-state area but we just entered a noise so we're now going to pass by the Chicago Skyway which is the thing you see here. We're coming up to it. There it is. Here it is. And there are big ass fans in there. It is snowing again in Illinois. And we're in the Ottawa area right now. is the welcome to Iowa sign. So I'm now in Iowa. Okay, just got the Fanimation pedestal in the pewter finish. Here it is. Uh, something weird is that the tag, which if I can show you, here it is, says Islander. If you will focus, there we go. Um, it's a really early one from 2000 and I got it from the original owner. So, it doesn't have the adapter that makes the blades go down here. So, because it uses the adjustable pitch blade brackets. And it's and these are longer than the Fanimation Torrentos. And there's the base all the way back there. And the, the control is in the cord and it's just a normal 3-speed ro rotary knob control. Here are the fans at the Rebuilding Exchange in Chicago. That's a stack motor fan. Not sure what it is right now. Some have the base and hunters and then Supra. Glendale, SMC, something. And something that's a hunter. Something, something. Blades, they just have a Casablanca panel with two blades. Mayfair, Hampton Bay Princeton, I think. Mika Air Concept 2, Hunter, I forgot the name of that model. But up here is a Huntington 3. And I forgot the name of the Hunter. Some other stuff. A Panama 2. And a comfort touch stealth. And I'm probably going to get this. And something other that's noteworthy is are these California Gold or the Corzina Fabian Leica shades. And that's it for this building exchange. Here is downtown Chicago. We're approaching downtown Chicago. Uh, 
Okay, so I just picked up the Ferrari Red Delta 2. If you didn't know that, I was going to get this. It's from 1986, has a K4B and an LCA, but it has 1987 high gloss blades. And I also forgot to vlog that I picked up this Fanimation Treventi. The motor is in there, it's covered by the pedestals, uh, blades, but, but it's in there. And I will show you all of them when I get home. The next stop is a CL Cloth Hunter Original. So I'm here getting the final fan for this trip, which is this Hunter Sailcloth Original. The blades are over here on top of the the pencil blades. They're white, and I'm having trouble just fitting in the styrofoam Hunter styrofoam that I brought, which is right there. So I think I'm going to put it under my feet, and that's it. Okay, we're now back home. This is the day after I picked up all the fans because last night I got home at about 7 p.m. and I was it was really cold outside. It was negative 20 degrees Celsius outside, so I just went home, grabbed a few fans from the garage and put it inside. And those fans were the the Treventi and the Red Delta 2. The Stealth and the Outdoor, the Outdoor Hunter original I just brought out and I just cleaned this, cleaned this, put paper towel there so the oil doesn't leak out. And you may be wondering where the pedestal is. Well, it's over here. So there's the base. And that's all I'm going to show you of it because the video of this fan is going to come out when I reach 400 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, here's the fans the data over here. So this is a uh, Hunter Original Outdoor Original from 1994. It has the white sailcloth blades and it's in really good shape except for the switch housing, the rim and the switch cap. But this part is, the rim usually gets scratched and and the, the switch cap can easily be painted. So, so it's, it's in really good shape. Blades are in really good shape. Original white fabric. Blade arms have a, some small scratches on them, but they're fine. Anyway, here's the stealth. It's in okay shape for being at Habitat, but it's going to be a parted out fan too. Because, as you can see, the blade tips aren't in very good shape. And they have these moon glow in the dark thingies on the blades. And it's missing the glass and and the comfort touch remote. So, it's, it's going to be parted out for the board because I need it for my Venus Halo. And this fan. Um, I know... This fan is probably going to be your favorite out of all of these, except for the pedestal, maybe. But it's a 1986 Casablanca Fire Red Delta II, has an Astrosim motor, high gloss blades from 1987 for some reason, and, and a K4B from 1987, probably because the showroom just had an extra 1986 motor around. And it has a LCA that's in super nice shape. These are usually scratched up over here but this one has no scratches it came from the original owner who bought it in 1987 for 375 dollars and the final fan Fanimation Treventi um, many people don't like these but this this is one of the fans that I really like it is it has my favorite housing on it is I know it's really ugly but for some reason I really like these um, the Chanty, I think that's how you pronounce it, housing, which is the grape, and also has the matching trim light kit. There's the blades for the Delta 2. It says N Notre Dame and Chicago Bulls. C20 remote control. Instruction manual. And these Cario purple carved wood blades. It's a really nice fan. 
and it also has the LK25 sight like Kid from Fanimation. So, yeah. So this fan, I want to tell you more about this one. This fan, um, the, the original owners took, took this down 12 years ago. Actually not. Um, the, they said it's 12 years, but they actually took it down in 2005. So, 17 years now, I think. And they replaced it with a Hunter Eclipse. As you can tell by the box, it's really old. And they put it in their basement for like 5 years, I think. No, no, no. 17 years. So, now it's mine. Super nice shape. Original owners. Complete. Are down to the screw. Bearings are great. Flywheel isn't bent or warped. And yeah, this fan I got for 115 This was originally 30 but I talked the price down. This was 43 That was 50 And the pedestal was 150 Anyway, that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching. And bye!